What's up karate nerds or should I say hola amigos because today I'm off to España. That's how they say in Spain with the th, not the S. Just so you know. On this trip I'm gonna first be going to a tournament in the city of Toledo. It's called the A series. It's organized by the World Karate Federation and then I'm teaching my first ever seminar in Spain in the city of Valencia or Valencia which is just by the coast. Vamos! Touchdown in Madrid. It is insanely hot here. I mean, I can't even describe it. It's crazy. And I've been dying to put this on. Arriba! Arrived in Toledo, first stop of the trip. Just checked in at the Airbnb because I never really stay at hotels anymore. Now it's time for a quick coffee and I've actually searched on Google for the best coffee in Toledo before we go to the registration because the tournament starts tomorrow and today you just go and basically pay the money and check your name off the list and then we're ready to rumble. This city is so cool because it's like it's built on this giant hill which totally makes sense if you want to protect yourself from invaders right and there's this wall this like castle wall surrounding the whole old town and apparently it's known as the city of three cultures or three religions because there used to be this whole big Muslim area and this Christian area and this uh, Jewish area uh, originally in this city but now it's kind of mixed up anyway but that's pretty interesting All right, you guys ready? That's actually really good. It might be one of the strongest iced coffees I've ever had, but definitely beats Starbucks. It's funny walking around here. I've seen tons of karate people already, and I think a lot of people will come here to compete because this A-series will qualify you to compete. Oh, a bird just shot on the ground. Anyway, focus. Um, this A-series will qualify you if you want to compete at the Premier League in the World Karate Federation. And the Premier League will qualify you together with the World Championships and Continental Championships if you want to compete in the Olympics. Which is why a lot of people are now starting to compete in these A-series tournaments around the world. And so I think this is just gonna be become bigger and bigger each and every time. And I'm planning on going to a couple of others this year. So we'll see how it goes. I've actually had a, a cold ever since I came back from my Canada tour last week. So I haven't been able to train to the best of my ability, but I'm hoping that my experience will uh, give me some rounds anyway. That's it! Here we go! Competition day! Man, we're only halfway to the arena and I'm not sure if I should start warming up or cooling down when I get there. <laughs> I think we're getting closer. It's probably over there. Here we are. Tatami number four. Jin Tung Ji. Oh, maybe five out. Good morning. Good luck.
Kami, number one. Some steel would put fear into any heart. Comfy? Of course! <laughs> like having a sweat in the eye. Of course! The <laughs> sweat! <laughs> First round done, I won 5-0. The other guy, I think he was from Spain, he did the same kata as me. So, you could say it was a pretty fair fight, so to speak. But, strangely enough, I like, somehow injured my neck. I don't know why, maybe I didn't have enough time to warm up or something, but something definitely hurts in my neck. And I know it's so strange to say because I didn't really fight anyone, right? I just punched and kicked in thin air, but... I think I need a massage after this. Anyway, now I'm on to round two. Let's go. Oh, hey guys. Usually I wouldn't stretch before I go on the tatami, but my neck hurts, so I'm trying to like stretch out my posterior chain to give my neck some slack because it's really getting tight now, especially now that I get cold. So, let's hope it gets better with some stretching. Alright, second round done. I did Anan and my opponent did Goji Shiho Kata from Shotokan, right? And I won 3 to 2. I think my Kata was a bit too strong and stiff. I need to have a little bit more relaxation and finesse for the next round. But hey, I'm on to the third round. The only way is up.
That's it. I lost. Damn, I wanted to do another round. The guy I was up against was uh, a local and he did the Super Rinpe, the most advanced kata in the style of Gojiryu, right? And I did Nipaipo, which is uh, one of my favorite kata from the style of Shitoryu. And unfortunately, it was not enough this time, but I gotta say I felt much better than I did in my previous rounds, because now I, I managed to have that, that right balance between tension and relaxation, and that interplay, if you manage to control that, then the sky's the limit. All right, that's it for now. As you guys know, I have this rule, after I compete, no matter how it goes, I can eat anything as much as I want. So, I think I'm in the mood for pizza and maybe some tapas. Arriba! Guys, you're not gonna believe this. We were just walking down the street and I noticed this ice cream shop and they have carrot cake flavor. I just gotta try that. Buenos dias. Can I have the carrot cake ice cream? This one. Oh yeah. I have a feeling there are no real carrots in this. Mm, it's dripping all over the place. So it's actually like Vanilla ice cream, but with huge chunks of carrot cake. And it's real carrot cake, this is good. Of course, not as good as my mom's carrot cake. Mom, if you're watching, it's not nearly as good. But hey, it's an ice cream shape. So, can't complain in this heat. I ordered a quattro stagioni. It has that typical Japanese style wabi-sabi idea, you know. Perfection in imperfection. So this pizza is totally zen. It's hot. Mm. Mm. I gotta say, people back in the days were crazy. That torture museum was, I mean, I have a, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. But just think about it. that was just a few generations ago. I mean, people today are not much different. We just use different tools. Strange. That's it for this city. Toledo is done. Next up, my seminar in Valencia. So now it's time to take the train again. And it's like a three hour trip. So I guess I'll have some time to bang out a couple of blog posts and answer some emails on that trip. And I'm looking forward to being at the coast to see how different it is. Aloha.